Hey everyone, welcome back to the Vlogmas on Rose's Year of One. Today we're actually cycling all the way back to October and these are my October empties but there was a spoiler in them for the hand cream that I showed you in my 12 pans of Christmas that I had finished so I had to wait until you'd seen that update before I could post these empties so these are October's empties and I am so excited to actually film them, share them with you and be able to put them in the recycling and get rid of them so Let's get into it. The first item I finished is a perfume. So one perfume, it was a 60ml size of Thierry Mugler's Alien and it was worth $120 towards my Reverse Rouge. I really, really like this scent. I would definitely repurchase it. It went through a really sort of popular phase there for a while. Every second person was wearing it and it's one of those really distinctive scents that if somebody's wearing it and you know what it is, like, you will recognise it quite instantly. So I did stop wearing it for a while because of that, but that seems to have kind of died off a little bit now and I'd gone back to wearing it and had finished it off and enjoyed doing so. So I would definitely like to have this fragrance back in my life at some point. I have got far too many perfumes as you guys are well aware if you watched my 2021 perfume collection video. So it's not going to be something I replace instantly or anything like that but I'm sure I will have another bottle in the future. One of the good things about this as well is that these are refillable bottles so when you buy it the first time you don't need to then keep buying the bottle you can just pay for your refill which is really really good really environmentally friendly and i feel like it's becoming quite common now but terry Mugler actually had that well before it was sort of commonplace so props to them for that the second item i've used up is this hair mask from way it's just their standard treatment mask this is a little mini size i think it's a gift with purchase and it was worth four dollars and 83 cents towards my reverse rouge this was absolutely fine if i got it again i would use it up again but i feel like i've got other hair masks that i prefer so i don't think i would rush out to repurchase it i used up three makeup products so the first one is the steel lip glaze in the shade kitten so that's actually from my main project pan as you know, if you watch my Project Pan videos, I have said like it looks like there's the tiniest bit of product left but I've twisted the pen up as much as I can and no further product comes out so we are considering it done and empty. That lip gloss was worth $22 towards my Reverse Rouge. I did actually like it but I'm not a massive lip gloss person so I don't think I would rush to repurchase it. Right next to that we have got the Benefit Ready Set Brow. This is just a little small size so it was worth $10.97 towards my Reverse Rouge. I have the full size of this and I do quite like it. I have very cool unruly brows and it doesn't quite hold like I couldn't brush them up and expect it to hold them against gravity and um, so it's not like a super strong hold one but it's fine for kind of just keeping them roughly in place if you just want them to sort of follow their sort of natural fall without being too messy if that makes any sense I feel like that doesn't make sense at all but if you just want to brush them like a long tiny bit up at the arch and then down at the end it's fine for that but it's not any good if you want that like brushed up fluffy brow look if you've got brow hair like me. And then the last item is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Mattifying Primer. Obviously just a little sample size and that was worth $4 towards my Reverse Rouge. I did quite like it. It was quite mattifying without being drying so I was quite into that but I, it's, a, it's a really strange primer. It didn't seem to play well with any of my foundations overall. I used it up in work just because I was a bit like I don't really care that much about my makeup and work. Almost every foundation I used, I can't think of one that it looked nice with but Lauren has had the full size of this and she had the corresponding peachy keen whatever it was called the peachy foundation and it worked really well with what with that. It worked really well with what it was designed to but it doesn't for anything I tried it with it didn't seem to to sit well with so I definitely wouldn't repurchase it as a standalone but I would potentially purchase it if I was purchasing that foundation at some point. Moving on to skincare I had three sashi samples that I used up so these were worth three dollars towards my reverse rouge. Two of them were from Clarins the double serum and the double serum for eyes. I say this most of the time but a sashi doesn't tell you very much other than whether you're allergic to the product. Didn't feel any reaction and I would be potentially interested in trying this it's such a hero product for Clarins. Yeah, I would potentially be interested in trying this. I've got another sample of each of them, but again, it's just a sachet, so I'm not really going to be able to see any difference in my skin, but I had no reaction to it, and yeah, I'm definitely open to trying them. 
this one however the I don't ever know like obviously it just looks like the word revive but I feel like you're supposed to say it like revive you know but um that brand uh, this is their moisturising renewal cream now it does say nightly retexturizer and it does say on the back and it has sunburn alert saying that this product contains an alpha, hydro alpha hydroxy acid but the burn on this guys like my skin felt like it was crawling skin was on fire I persevered and I pushed through and was like, gritted my teeth and whatever um, and I've used a lot of like peels and acids and I have very sensitive reactive skin so you know it the burn is something I'm more familiar with than I probably should be and I can push through it a little bit but this was intense and I do to be fair I don't know how long I've had this sachet for so it's probably expired which may well be partly to do with it but basically if you want to try this it's something I really recommend getting a sample of because there is no way I could continue to use it it's the most intense burn i've ever felt from a product which is so strange given it's a cream and i've used proper peels and ha exfoliating masks and things like that like i have never felt anything like this cream on my skin but the other thing was i eventually was like no i can't deal with this and i touched my face and like it was all like peeling off in balls as well i ended up taking it off and putting on a different cream so yeah not for the sensitive skinned and if you are interested in trying their moisturising renewal cream I highly encourage you to get a sample because my skin did not enjoy this. Speaking of sensitive skin though, my skin does enjoy this which is the Origins Mega Mushroom Face Cleanser. This was a 50ml size, I think it was in a gift from like a Christmas gift set last year or the year before and it was worth $11 towards my reverse rouge. The Mega Mushroom range is really good if you've got really sensitive reactive skin. I actually had the mask in my previous month's empties to this and I think I said like that I wouldn't rush to repurchase it now because I feel like my skin's quite under control and whatever. But then I used that Revive cream thing and it was a bit like, oh god, that this would have been the perfect moment to have that mask. But I was very glad that I had this cleanser. I was actually nearly finished it before I used that cream. I was so glad I hadn't finished it completely because I got to wash that cream off with this and then use this for a couple of days just to keep my skin calm so I do really recommend this range if you've got sensitive reactive skin I think it's very good I've got a lot of cleansers so unless I have a huge reaction to something I will try and just use what I've got rather than rushing back to repurchase something like this and I do think overall something like the mask that's more of a treatment leave-on product is probably more effective for treating like an inflammation than the cleanser but I do very much like this and I would use it up again if I got it again Something I don't have, so I'll have to insert a picture of it, was a little mini of the Shiseido Powder Infusing Concentrate. It was worth, it was 10 mils and it was worth $22 towards my reverse rouge. I left it in the bathroom when it was empty and my gran just binned it. And I very much enjoyed it, would happily use it up again. Yeah, nothing absolutely outstanding. I've got my Kiehl's Facial Essence, that that's what I've gone back to and that's more easy. Like I can walk into the Kiehl's shop in Glasgow and just purchase that, so... To be honest, for ease of purchase, I'm probably going to stick to the Kiehl's one, but I enjoyed the Shiseido one, and if I got another sample or whatever, I would happily use it up again. Another range that's really good for sensitive reactive skin is this from Dr. Jart. It's the Ceramiden range. I have the cream. It's one of the things that I use around my eyes when my eczema flares up, and this was a little mini of the serum, so again, I pulled this out once I had used that night cream so this is just really hydrating kind of repairing like almost like barrier repairing very much enjoy it I've never had a full size of it so I'm not sure how in terms of me being an oily person although I've got reactive skin and although I've got eczema in certain areas I'm generally quite oily and I find when I use super rich serums um, you know that I can get quite blackheady and quite congested so I've never had a full size of the serum to actually be able to report back on that but this did, again, after using that night cream, really did soothe my skin down and I very much enjoyed it. So I would potentially look into actually purchasing this at some point. But this was a little deluxe sample size. It was 5 mils and it was worth $4.25 towards my reverse rouge. Something I am very happy to have used up is my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. This is a 30 mil size and it was worth $46. One of the key ingredients in here is lavender. My skin does not like lavender, so... I was trying to use this up for so long, only using it like once or twice a week, never two nights in a row, trying not to let the irritation build up. And I actually ended up, like, I got so fed up, I got down to like the last quarter or so, and I actually just ended up using it like mainly on my chest as like a body oil almost, just to get it finished. I'm obviously not going to repurchase this. It is a lovely product, it's an icon for a reason, so if you've got no problem with lavender, 
definitely worth checking out but I am in the camp of lavender irritates my skin so I won't be repurchasing this one. Another product that irritated my skin, I feel like we're on a roll here of things that irritated my skin and things that I used to calm it down afterwards um, and this is the Luna from the Sunday Riley range. This was a 15ml size worth $55 because obviously Sunday Riley is super expensive. This just made me so spotty. I don't know if it's to do with the blue colouring, I don't know what it was but every time I use this I would wake up with like just spots basically just like whiteheads it was not fun so again I actually ended up using this on my body where I've got a couple of stretch marks didn't really feel that it made any difference but it was a way of using it up because it was worth $55 towards my reverse rouge I was a bit like no I really want this towards my total I don't just want to declutter it obviously it breaks me out so yeah I just ended up using it on a couple of stretch marks no real difference, but I'm glad I've finished it up. The penultimate item in this one empties is the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. This was worth $62. I enjoyed this. Like a nice sort of instant brightness to the skin. Didn't irritate my skin at all. Smelled really, really good. Very much enjoyed the smell from this Vitamin Nectar range from Fresh. I don't know if it was like that amazing that I would rush to repurchase it to be honest but again if I was there and I was buying stuff and you know this was in front of me I wouldn't I'm not saying I wouldn't pick it up so yeah it's not quite as intense as like certain other sort of exfoliating brightening masks but yeah it gave a nice boost and I enjoyed the smell and it was a nice sort of sensory experience so I wouldn't be against having this back in my life. The last item is the spoiler for my 12 Pans of Christmas project pan. As you can see, this L'Occitane Vervain hand cream is completely used up. Now this was a gel cream so I felt like I used it really really quickly because it was just quite a thin sort of formula and consistency. But I did very much enjoy it, very much enjoy the scent of that range. It's like a sort of fizzy, fresh, sweet, citrusy. It's just a really really good smell. I would quite happily get this again. I don't know because of how quickly I used it up. I don't know if it's one I would want to pay for because I feel like it's probably not the best value for money but I did very much enjoy having it and I would like to have it again and this little size was worth $12 towards my reverse rouge. Altogether for the month of October I finished 15 items worth $377.05 towards my reverse rouge. I was very pleased with those numbers. Obviously quite a few high value items there to boost the totals. It all counts up and it's it's all heading in the right direction. Thank you very much for watching this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Just a reminder that I am doing Vlogmas so there is a video every day between the 1st of December which is long past at this point and the 24th so do check out what you've missed if you've missed a few and do check back for more daily content in the run up to Christmas. On that note, I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.